Chicago, when I'm away from you, even for a little while, well, you see, somehow other things just don't seem right. And I begin to feel restless, uneasy, and nervous, and I'm just not happy. And I get the feeling that something is wrong there with you. And I begin to wonder what's happening with you and what great things you're doing well, being as you are the I will city. You just might up and do something big and tremendous, and I wouldn't want to miss it. And then, Chicago, I yearn to be there with you. And at those times, Chicago, I realize that you're still my main man, and I got to get back to you as quick as I can. And planes can't fly fast enough, trains can't roll fast enough, wheels can't turn fast enough to bring me back, racing back to you, Chicago, with my heart full of love. And then, when finally home with you at last, Chicago, even the dirty papers swerving around in the streets and the garbage in some of your alleys seem dear to me and worth caressing. Chicago, my city, I love you. And I know you and I are going to make it together. Yes, we will. This is an art piece of Margaret Taylor Burroughs. Each of these distinct art pieces done and made by different artists are found and displayed at the Southside Community Art Center on South Michigan Avenue in the south side of Chicago. These art pieces are displayed in this art center in the south side to continue on the legacy of art that Margaret Burroughs began in response to her love for art and culture. Margaret Taylor Burroughs was born in St. Rose, Louisiana, here in America. When Burroughs was only a, a child in kindergarten, her family, during the Great Migration period, decided to move to Chicago, and Margaret Burroughs began to study in Chicago in Inglewood in the South Side. She attended college also in Chicago, the, the Chicago Teachers College, and she earned a, a bachelor's in arts degree and a master's in arts degree from the Art Institute of Chicago. Continuing on in her art career, Margaret began to add and contribute to the continuing movement of the Great Migration, filled with different musicians, artists, different poets. Margaret Burroughs added and contributed to this movement with her own expressions. She began to teach at Disable High School. She began to write many children's books and, of course, create many art pieces similar to the ones that you are viewing here in this video. This next photo is an art piece of Margaret Burroughs from, from the 1980s. I just couldn't see myself standing in front of a group of eager-eyed young black people and not being able to tell them something very positive about themselves. So, I began to dig out information about our people and share it. This is a quote by Margaret Burroughs in response to the origins of her interest in African American history. Many of Margaret's paintings and drawings had children in them, from outdoor activities to singing songs together or to birthday parties. But it seems that there was a, always a mix of white and black children, which shows that Margaret, the artist, is portraying a theme of family, friendship, and equality. In these kinds of art pieces, she draws 
the audience to themes of family, community, and the history of her culture. The artist, painter, poet, and dreamer captured the life of children in the Black community in a very positive way. Margaret Burroughs published her first children's book in 1947 and released many more in the 1950s and 1960s, such as Jasper the Drummond Boy and What Shall I, what Should I Tell My Children Who Are Black and the children's book Did You Feed My Cow? I wish my art to speak not only for my people, but for all humanity. Burroughs vows regarding her art pieces. In establishing the Southside Community Art Center and the Disabled Museum of African American History, Margaret Taylor Bur Burroughs has become a voice for humanity. Even during her family's move and pursuits during the Great Migration, she has founded a legacy of art, culture, and history, preserving it so that the future generations can glean and build off of such a, a beautiful culture.